Welcome back to Reading with Miss B, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about tip number five, and that's saying goodbye to all of our worries. When we are worried, boys and girls, it can affect the way we behave, the way we think, and the way we feel. So today, Dr. Dyer's book, we're going to explore how getting rid of our worries will help us soar and flourish and thrive in our lives. Do you remember that word thrive? What does thrive mean? Yes, it means to grow at something and get better at something and flourish. Good job, everybody. What a great memory you have. Let's get started. Number five, farewell to worry. If you want to be unstoppable, there's something you must know. Worrying can bring you down and cause helpless feelings to grow. It's very true, isn't it? Just try to remember when stressful thoughts attack that positive actions on your part are the best way to fight back. So talk to someone if you're feeling blue. Tell them about your thoughts because sharing your burdens can help you through many of life's rough spots. Boys and girls, you may not recognize the word burden. Does anyone know what the word burden means? Boys and girls, when someone uses the word burden, they often refer to it as being something that you cannot stand or carry with you. Like maybe it's someone told you a secret that you cannot keep a secret any longer. It's weighing down on you and you're finding it hard to, to keep. That's an example of a burden, something that weighs you down or that you can't carry by yourself. Let's see how this relates to real life. Last night, I was so worried about today's spelling test. I could barely concentrate on studying and I didn't get much rest. So this morning when I woke up, I told my mom how I felt. She gave me a hug and we practiced my words and my worries started to melt. I'll do the best I possibly can and that's enough for me. It feels so good to take control. Now I feel confident and free. There is an example of letting go of a burden and letting go of some worry and sharing your burden or worries with others. Has there ever been a time where you've worried, worried about something or you've had a burden that you can't keep? Who did you share it with? What was it? What did you do to help you with that worry? Write about it in your journal. Today's question is, worrying is something we all do from time to time, but it doesn't really help anything. What does, what does help is talking to someone or coming up with a plan. What is something you worry about? Have you talked to anyone about your thoughts? What other actions can you take to tackle your fears? That's it for today, boys and girls. Until next time.